What's going on, world? This is your host of Soul Street in the Cut. I am me, Tweezy, in my element. And yeah. tell them who we got pulling up in the cut today. We got Marshall Jones, man. Yes, sir. Peace and blessings from the Most High. What's going on, bro? Hey, man, I'm chilling, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. How your day been so far? It's a long day, man. Uh, it's a 12-hour day at work. And then I'm coming to holler at you, man. I'm, I'm enjoying this vibe, though, man. Most definitely, man. Cool. We, hey, listen, man. We understand life be life. Ain't yeah. You know I mean, we was just talking about that earlier. You know what I mean? Before you pull it up. Real yes, sir. Shit, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to get on the grind and keep it going. We got to keep the bills paid. You yeah. know what I mean? Tell everybody where you're from, man. I was born in Syracuse, New York. I uh, lived there until I was 10 years old. And then I moved to South Carolina, a small town called Chesterfield first. I was there from like fifth grade to like seventh grade. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to Chira, South Carolina from seventh grade until I graduated and joined the Navy. Okay. Okay. I, we appreciate you. Thank you for your service. Thank you, man. Straight like that. Um, let's, let's touch basis on that, man, for you being in the service. What was your MO? Uh, I work with the aviation, man. I work, work with helicopters in Florida and uh, jets. F-18s okay. in California. That's what's up, man. Both my parents was in the Navy. Um, my That's pops cool. was an aircraft uh, mechanic. And oh, my mom's work admin. She was in in the office doing like you know clerical work on the computers. Yes, you know sir. What I'm saying yeah, yeah, man, straight up. Oh, that's that's, that's yeah. what I did too. Yeah. For <laughs> real, real shit. Real yeah. Shit. So when you said that, I was like, oh, that touch home. Yes, real. sir, man. You know what I mean? That's and what's up. That's what's up. That's so dope. Let Let's jump into it. Give people a little bit of uh, background. You know what I mean in relation to your motivation or your inspiration behind you starting in music? Um, I was just telling somebody this the other day. One of the movies that I remember watching when I was younger was The Temptation. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. And there was a scene in The Temptations, man, where they was trying to figure out their name. And I lived in Dizzy Gillespie Projects in South Carolina. And I would think like, yo, I want to go to Motown. I want to see this place. Right, I got to right, see right. this place. And my daughter was born in Detroit. And every time I would take her to Detroit, I would go to that that spot and in that part where they was trying to figure out their name. Mm -hmm. And I just remembered that, man. And that, that shit resonated with me. But the temptations, uh, growing up, my grandmother wrote poetry and... Uh, like genetics is a motherfucker because I'm telling you, my dad was a it DJ really and I never really grew up with my my real father. I, I knew him when I was young and shit. And then I right. when I grew up in South Carolina, I didn't grow up with my dad. But when you have people in your family that has talents, mm -hmm. they're passed down to you and you can utilize those talents. We are born with gifts. We are blessed with gifts. For sure. And you have multitude of gifts from people and your ancestors. They all pass these down to you. Yep. And we have choices and routes that we could take. But genetics is a motherfucker, man. For real, though, bro. Big facts, bro. Big facts. Now, let's dive deep, man. Marshall Jones, the artist, man. I done had the opportunity to check out some records in your catalog. So we going to just touch bases. Tell everybody right now, what's what's your most recent project or, you, or, you know, something that you may be working on or maybe you want to touch bases on what you have out right now? Uh, on Spotify, I got Fam and Friends. Okay. I got Photographs with Jordan Lee. Uh, y'all need to check out shout Jordan out Lee Jordan as well. Lee. Yeah, shout Sounds out Jordan King. Lee, man. You know he, he's amazing, like man. Straight um, like I got a song called Watching for Demons, and uh, I got a song called Praying for You. I'm praying for you, and it's on Spotify as well. Um, the project that I recently was working on that I need to that I actually finish. I'm, I'm glad that you that you brought that up. Yes, yeah, for sure. It was called a Dullum, and um, a Dullum is the cave that David was in when he spoke to God. Mm. And okay. there was Let's a time ahead. that I went through in life where I felt like I was in that situation. And not trying to be on no Bible dump and shit. It's just right. uh, I felt like I was in a moment where it was just me and God. And, I, and, and those tracks that I created, I felt like we were talking to each other. Okay. So let, let's stay right there. Can you give us an, uh, a peek inside your game room as far as your creative process like you know whether it's writing the record or you know just the overall vision and the sound that you have right now i want range unlimited range like a sniper like i want to be able to one thing about the military one thing about me is i feel like i want to be able to appeal to everybody because right. 
We are everybody. We everybody is everybody. We just live in each other's lives on different timelines. Hmm. So when we realize that, then there'll be more peace. But we are all like we all consumed by our own ego to live as individuals. Right. So when we realize how alike we are with each other, and how crazy this matrix thing is, then yeah, we'll see. These ones and zeros get deep. Yeah, you yeah bro. They really do. So speaking of relationships, connections, um, let, let's talk about our mutual connection yeah. relationship with Jordan Lee. You know what I'm saying? That's how we linked up, how we initially con- connected in relation of making this shit happen. Yes, sir. And um, I want to know, like, h- how did you and him meet? Like, how did y'all? Hey, I say this guy is a master networker. Uh, y'all know this dude, Go Go. I knew him by a ghost back back in the day when I met him in 2011. But everybody know him by Bash Tees. If go check out Bash Tees. Yeah, shout Bash, out to that boy. Yeah, Bash Bash uh, was like, "Yo, I got this artist you got to meet." Now, me and Bash met in in 2011 through a guy named uh, Raheem Bryant Scoop. A lot of people know him as Scoop. Okay. Okay. And in 2011, after I got out the Navy, I, I moved back down to Jacksonville. And I was working on music. And uh like we was doing that's when I met that's when I met uh King's Republic. So shout out to King's shout Republic. Out to King's I see Republic. you got that fly yeah. shit on. You wearing that shit over there, yeah. young man. I see you. Thanks, bro. I appreciate yes, sir. you. Yes, sir. I feel like we all need to uh we all need to barter and work with each other in order to make it to our, the levels that we need to get to because we all sure. back to what I said earlier, we all are each other. So right. if we see it as such, we will work with each other better. But that makes sense, man. So um, my bad. I just lost my train of thought, bro. What, what was the question again? <laughs> no, no, you you good, you good, bro. You you pretty much answered the question, man. You was right on track with it. I okay. appreciate you, you breaking yes, down just how how we walk through your process and your creativity. You know what I mean? Um, if you had to provide a message or any type of words of encouragement to anybody that's coming up, younger generation or somebody behind you, you know, in relation of pursuing music or anything in the music industry, what would you tell them? I would ask them. How much do they want it? Mm, How much they want it? That's real shit. And, And that, who are they? Because you have to be grounded in this music industry. See, because as black people, we don't represent ourselves, so we got to play their game. And in playing their game, mm-hmm. we we all notice that these artists do some fuck shit. <laughs> and because they got to play their game. They yeah, will never be allowed to, to be on their level. Being a part of that machine. So we have to create our own, which means we have to see each other as each other and help each other. Right, right. And... As the ego takes over and we look at each other as individuals, I would be I would be an idiot to tell this dude, oh, I gotta, I got you gotta pay me such and such to wear your shirt on this. No, we about to show love because we build. Exactly. But people don't see each other as each other. And once we get that, that's the message. That's to answer your question. Real shit. We have to see each other as each other, especially each other. But I'm I wanna be ranged. And have unlimited range, so each other can also be each other. Mm-hmm. But I'm speaking to each other as well. So, so in regards to your mind state, your mentality, your your openness, your your search for the sense of community and unity. You know what I mean? Um, can you elaborate for me? What is it like for you when you're not? working or you know in the studio actually doing music what does a typical day look look like for you you know what I'm saying outside of the the artist Marshall Jones oh I'm I'm an A&R now so ah. I'm helping artists create their songs I'm networking them with other artists I'm giving them ideas to I'm learning all of the things I procrastinated about and what we usually do, a lot of times, even though we go hard for ourselves, we'll be nicer to other people. Yeah. So it's easier to see how, it's easier to see how I could tell these people, and if they're motivated, because it's all about the action. So 
I could tell these people because it's easy to see an idea for it. these people. Right. We got thousands of ideas for ourselves that we'll crumble up in that fucking ball and throw it in the trash can. Every day. But they might they might get five of us and think five of ours and think that five of them is amazing ideas. When we 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 might skip over those five and get to nine hundred and five before we think it's a good idea for right. us because we are biased to ourselves. Real shit. Real so, shit. Most definitely. We yeah. are hardest critic. Yes, sir. Most definitely. Most so, definitely. Is uh, with the NR, I, and it's, it excites me, man. Just to, I feel like I'm finally understanding my purpose, and it's to breathe life into people. Oh. Because there's a I lot like of death that. being breathed, breathed or breathed out of people, I guess, huh. nowadays. So, breathing life into people is just trying to inspire people to, to go to, for their dreams. And their dreams has been a seed that's been planted inside them since the bane of their existence. They know, they know about it. They've had an urge about these dreams or, or and it's not just one they got multiple multiple right. decisions from these ancestors the, the the things that your grandparents or your great grandparents were good at them, is in you Straight you up. feel me so uh you you have the decisions to chase your dreams and to the people that don't they're the demons hmm. they're the ones that's attacking they're the ones that's trying to provoke your demons because we all have demons but they're the ones that's going to try to provoke yours because they're not chasing those dreams. They're not chasing those that light. That's your ancestors. That's your connection to the people before you. I'm telling you. You feel I'm me? You. If you could collaborate with any artist, living or dead, who would it be and why? I mean, with Marshall Jones, it's derived from his arrogance because I feel like if I'm not going to use Yuri, I'm going to say what I feel like I am, which I feel like I'm at the top of the game when I really put my mind to it. So MJ is also Michael Jordan because I'm a sports fan, but Michael Jackson. Huh. So I would just cliche, just say Michael Jackson, but <laughs> that's cliche. So I'm I trying mean, to think. nothing's cliche. This is you. You know what I'm saying? I understand, but there's so many artists that I I still have on mind because I'm trying to see. I'm saying cliche because it, 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 it matches with the name and yeah. shit. And it, huh. But <laughs> artists are really, you know, a, a CD that inspired me. DMX, Ooh, what's that uh, album he dropped in like 2004? Which one you talking about? Or, dark is hella hot. Oh, that's my shit, bro. We're getting on the floor. Was that was that the album we're getting on the floor on it? Um, uh, was that the album we're getting on the floor? Was that and then it was X. I think that might have been and then it was X. We need the Grand Champ, the Grand Champ. But that shit hard. The bro. Grand Champ, that's the that's the album, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I remember being like a 14, 15 year old kid <laughs> in South Carolina because that was my connection back to New York. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like leaving New York at 10 and then growing up in South Carolina, bro, I felt like I missed the city. But when I went to the city as an adult, I missed the country, bro. Huh. You feel me? <laughs> it be like that, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It be like that when you young, you know what I'm saying? You want, we want to be in the mix. We want to be live where everything at. You feel mm -hmm. me? The older you get, the more you understand and, and, and cherish your peace. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Real nigga shit. Hey, so tell everybody where they can find you, where they can contact you, where they can, you know, get your music, what's the socials, website. Let them know what's up. Uh, you can look up Marshall Jones on Spotify, uh, the smoke pit 88 T H E S M O K E P I T T 88. And that's an Instagram. Um, I just started back using my Facebook, but y'all can look up. Well, no, nah, I ain't gonna get you on my Facebook. <laughs> uh, y'all don't need the book. Y'all need the Y'all got enough info. Yeah. Look them up. Make sure y'all go check out his music. This man is super talented. Like, subscribe, follow, add it to your playlist right now. Now, yes. let's circle back on this other side of the life. We done talked about the man. We've talked about the A&R. We've yes, talked about the artist. Now, let's talk about the podcast host. This Smoke Pit podcast. Let everybody know, man. What, what is that about? How did that even come about? What You know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy? Uh, Jay said this earlier. You on the other side. I'm nervous as shit, man. That's funny as hell. <laughs> it's funny as fuck. It's different, right? Yeah, man. I'm it's nervous, different. and I be performing I and shit. I'm nervous I as know, fuck. Man. But uh, <laughs> uh, the podcast, man. 
the smoke pit comes from the military. Okay. The smoke pit is a place where we smoke cigarettes and shit, but everybody had the most compelling conversations, whether it was about their life, was it politics, mm-hmm. religion, mm-hmm. school, mm-hmm. Um, the future goals, and that's what I want out of the smoke pit. Okay. Okay. So that was like a, a a no judgment zone. Like everybody could really just. No, you got judge. Motherfuckers talk shit. Oh, okay. I mean, niggas <laughs> gonna clown. <laughs> niggas gonna clown. Like motherfuckers. That's like the military is is the, for the people that's in the military. The people that's in the military, they know. Like, it's not a cancel culture thing. Like, right. motherfuckers say what they say, mm-hmm. and and some people. They gonna say like we, and then you get in the civilian sector where you gotta be like, yo, does this motherfucker really like? It's not the same, bro. In the military, wow, but that rubs people the wrong way in the real world. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So it does. that's what the smoke pit was. Like you can share in this open space, but there's a chance that somebody go. <laughs> somebody but gonna let you have it. not saying that they gonna do it out of, out of hate or not or or talking shit, but it's saying like. You didn't care. You just being real. Right, right. You feel right, me? Right, right, right. You don't give a fuck about the judgment. Right. You just releasing your steam because the job that you're doing or the life that you're living is stressful. And what we as each other, we need to put that on a shirt. Straight. We need to have a motherfucking hand uh, holding, putting two fingers against the arm and say each other. But hey, we gonna trademark that. We but pin, put a pin in that. Yes, sir. But um, you motherfuckers don't take. <laughs> I already got my assistant t- typing that shit in right now as we're recording, so you're too fucking late. Mm, so, what we need to do is, uh, shit, I lost my train of thought with that branding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, we just talk vibing on the smoke pit, the podcast. Oh. So, I, I appreciate you for you, you elaborating on the, the origin. Yes, sir. Now, uh, I know you have about, what, four or five episodes Yeah. Um, to date, and I've checked out, you know, all of the different type of guests that you have so let's touch basis on that like what is it about this platform that separates you from the next joe blow the unlimited range say it again for me for the people in the back i've been around and i don't want to sound arrogant because but i am i'm human and we all fight our ego every day you feel me so so I'm I'm blessed to be in a room with a lot of unique people, mm-hmm. but we walk around daily with a hundred. With a, when we walk by some people that could be a hundred versions of them, and I've been blessed enough to come across hundred versions of people. Mm-hmm. So that's helped me have this unlimited range. Yes, sir. I have an understanding, and and I built bonds and relationships with many different kinds of people, and I owe it to them to help share their experiences as well. And beforehand, I, I held, I held my voice because when you have those gifts or your ancestors pass these blessings down to you, right. you also be attacked, and those where your traumas will come from as well. So you have to fight against those attacks to even use your gifts. Say you knows that. I'm telling you, boy. So it's real. You real about that? Anything that's worth having, worth keeping, it's gonna be hard to yes, maintain and fight for. The yes, whole way through, <laughs> straight like that. You feel me? I appreciate you, man, for sliding through and fucking with me. You know what I mean? Letting us inside your game room, bro. Yes, sir. One more time, tell them who we just had slide through on Soul Street in the Cut. Hey, this is Marshall Jones, and I don't know why the fuck I'm this nervous, but it's been good conversating with you, bro. Like I feel like it's been an organic conversation. Really? I feel like we got some good gems up in here. And I'm going to like to watch this back and to listen to the knowledge that I just gave. Because sometimes I don't feel like it's me, man. Sometimes we chill and we channel or it's downloads for my spiritual people that that will watch this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Most I appreciate blessings. you. Peace and blessings from the most. I appreciate you, man. Thank, Thank you for giving us your time. Yes, sir. And until next time, this is your host, I am me, Tweezy. And this was Soul Street in the Cut. Yes, sir. Yo, this motherfucker. <laughs>